Today, I'm gonna to show you how thrift store shopping can improve your carnivore diet. Smoking! Smoking! What is up, my carnivore family? Welcome back to Carnivore Quest. My name's Cassie. For those of you who don't know me, Welcome to the channel. My husband Larry and I are on a journey to lose well over 250 pounds eating the carnivore diet. Not only are we more than halfway to our goal, we are getting healthy, getting in a great groove, and feeling amazing. Today, I have a special video for you. So for those of you who don't know that I am the thrift store queen, <laughs> I picked up this little guy. This is the Brinkman Smoke and Grill. It's an older model smoker. It's probably one of the originals as far as electric goes. I've been wanting to dive into the art of smoking meat for quite some time. Smoking has been a lot of fun. It's been a great learning experience and the fact that I love to cook and this is a new cooking method, I'm on cloud nine. Smokers can be really expensive. But I found this guy. This is my $13 Goodwill find. Are you kidding me? It works beautifully. I did have to clean it up a little bit, give it a little TLC, but it purrs like a kitten. So remember the tenderloins that I picked up at my Lidl mini grocery haul? Well, each pack had two of them in them. They're about a pound and a quarter each. So I opened up one pack and we're gonna be smoking those. So we'll be smoking two. We got about two and a half pounds of meat and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So let me show you what we got going on. All right, let's start off with our table of contents. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, smoker chips that we have. These are applewood. I have them soaking in water. You wanna soak them for roughly 45 minutes to an hour. And then I have, of course, my cast iron smoker box. I have um, just a thermometer because I don't put it in the meat or anything and I just really am looking for the ambient temperature. I've got, this is my water pan. Now this is what I learned is going to control the temperature. Now if I don't add water with ice every 45 minutes to an hour, that smoker is gonna reach 350 degrees and I wanna try and keep it in the 225 to 250 mark. To keep it at that temp, we have to add ice to it about every 45 minutes. I never knew the crucial role that the ice played with the temperature until I started playing around. It was actually my second go around. So I got that figured out. You know, I'm a newbie here. So any of you have any pro tips for me, please leave them down in the comments because I'm always looking to learn new things and new techniques and new methods. All right, now let's take a peek at these beautiful tenderloins that I've been brining for 48 hours. Again, it's a simple salt solution. It adds so much flavor. Between that and the applewood smoked chips, I've got three quarters of a tablespoon of kosher salt to two cups of water here. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor and it doesn't need anything else. Again, here we go with simplicity, salt and water and meat. Gotta love it. All right, y'all, we're gonna make some magic happen here. So I'm just gonna take these chips that have been soaking in water. They've been in a little over an hour. That's about what I'm gonna use right now. I will have to add more chips as we go along. Again, when I check the water, I check the chips as well. So that should get me going. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover that up. For those of you who don't know the inner workings of a smoker, an electric smoker, let's go ahead and show you an antiquated electric smoker at that. So this is my access to the heating element. So these are um, just lava rocks and what they do is retain some heat. Um, so here's our heating element. And then this is where the meat goes. I have racks in there. There's This actually has two racks on it. Um, I have used both. Here's how we do this. Smoker box goes right on top. And then I'm going to put this layer on. Now, like I said, I'm only using the one rack. So I'm going to put my water pan in there very carefully because this is hot and I don't want to burn myself. And if you see all the scars on my arms, that is something I am pretty darn good at. Okay, and now the ice. This is what's going to keep the temperature down. That's it, every 45 minutes or so. So without the ice and the water, it runs at 350 degrees. With water only, no ice, I've seen it get as high as three and a quarter. But we're gonna keep that down to 225, 250. Okay, so then we're putting our other rack up there. You know, people also call it a drip pan, that water pan. I'm not looking to save any of the drippings today. I just want to get the meat smoked. And a one, and a two. 
Okay. That is that. I'm going to put the lid on it right along with this guy just to give me an idea of where our temperature is running. I'll put on the lid and we're going to check it in about 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's check on those tenderloins. Okay, so I got some more ice. I got my oven mints. We're going to check on the temp right now. Pretty sure I need to add a little bit more just to keep that temp going, but uh, we're about an hour in, so let's see where we're at. Oh, looking good. Yeah, we're right at 225 degrees. That's awesome. All right, so now my next step. I have to add some more ice and I need to check the smoker box. So for the ice, it's a little tricky because I have to lift this, this grid. There we go. Put that up there. So I'll move this for the moment. Put that down there. Yes, we need some more wood chips for sure. Sizzle, sizzle. Oh yeah. I probably should have checked this a little sooner. That's okay. I'll make up for it. Put that back. Put this guy back there. Some ice. Put Zed's back. Looking beautiful. Look at that color already. And put this guy back there. The lid on. Check it again in another 45 minutes. So I'm just adding some more wood chips into the water. I'm gonna need a little more. As you can see, some of these are black. Um, that's what's left over from the last time and I just emptied them in the bag and reused them. So they'll be soaking for the uh, next go around. All right, guys, it's been three hours, 45 minutes. I've checked on them three times and I am so excited. Each and every time they look a little bit better. I can still see it smoking up real good from my last dose of chips. Ready? Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, y'all, we've let them rest for a little bit. I probably should let them rest a little while longer, but I'm really hungry and they look amazing. I wanna slice up this guy first because he just has that beautiful golden hue. Let's see what we're working with. Oh my goodness, like butter. Okay, there's the smoke ring. How about that? Look at that. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The smoke flavor is much better this time than my first time. I see it on top of it. It's so tender. Mm. Flavor is off the chart. Salt and water just goes to show. Thrifting pays off. You keep your eyes peeled, you never know what you're gonna come across. I got this $13 smoker. I'm very pleased. How about a bite for the cameraman? Yes, please. <laughs> mm. wow. That's really good, right? Mm. The possibilities. All right, remember, y'all, no sugar, no carbs, no cheating. Love y'all.